Yo. So I played two other Metroid games and now I'm playing another one. So now it is time to decide Soup or Metroid Oh yeah, I know, don't worry We're gonna we're gonna adjust in a bit. We're gonna get some adjustments going on. All right. So, Super Metroid's default mappings. I'm not sure which I have selected here. The, its default controller mappings are a little weird. So just let me rebind those real quick. Because yes. Because yes, it does let me choose my controls. Pixel ratio is really bad. 
Shouldn't be. Let me, uh... Oh, you know what? You know what it might be? It might be uh, that I have sharp sharpen on, which is not good when, uh... <laughs> when you're running 720p like I am. So let's see. Yeah, that's set to one. Let me just turn that back down. Is that better? Does that look better to your eyes? I don't know if it does. <laughs> God, I, I really need a 1080p 60fps capture card. Let me let me see though. I, I might be able to. No, I can't do that. Well, let's just let's just get into things and we'll see how it looks there. Did it did it save my I it did not. <laughs> okay. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Yeah, it might just be the filtering. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebus. It was there that I foiled the plans of space pirate leader Mother Brain to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. Okay. Sorry about this. I'll just, I'll have it a little fuzzy, whatever. Like I said, once I get a better capture card, our problems will be lessened. I next bought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them except for a larva, which after hatching followed me around like a confused child. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres so scientists could study its energy producing qualities. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for, good, for the good of civilization. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt, but I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. I am reading faster than this text scroll. Sarah's station was under attack. Space Colony. Alright, so here we are in Metroid Town Space Station Contrary to popular belief, this is no moon Whoa. 
Who could have done this? Oh no, it's Ribbly! Rib Ribbly's here! He's here. He's here to fight. Uh, come on, Rib Ribbly. Come on, leave me, leave me be. You're not actually supposed to win that fight. We gotta get out. Everything's red and shaking. That's how you know it's bad. Get out of here. Get no. Steam. Leave me alone. Oh no! We got rotation effects. Okay, I think the balance is good, so I'm gonna suspend now. Okay, suspended. And now we're flying to Planet Zebus. Yes, you remember that place from the first Metroid? We're going there again. All right, we're back. We're back on Zebus. Can go in my ship. Oh crap, I forgot to do a sync check. Un unsuspend. Unsuspend tab. Okay. Right, left. Okay. It's good. So now we're good. Now we're good to go. There's a small, uh, like, little box around the arrow that's, like, barely visible on the my screen, but it's a bit more visible on my other monitor. I don't know. Whatever, it's, it's fine. I don't know why the SNES was creating a, a light box around the arrow, but it's, it's fine. Nobody, nobody cares. All right, so... You can't go up here unless you're skilled, like I am. But I don't think there's anything for us over here. You can go over here, though. They don't want you to go over here yet, but you can. We're supposed to go this way. And we're in the cave. I forgot how to become a ball, so we can't go down there. Samus has a very short-term memory loss. She can't remember how to become a ball. Sometimes it'd just be like that, you know? Yeah, can't go this way. Yeah, we gotta. We're being railroaded a little bit right at the, right at the start here. All right, so this place from the original Metroid, 
which you may not recognize because I didn't play all the way through that version. But it's, you know, it's the escape chasm. And this is Mother Brain's hideout. Yes, we're trekking back through the first area, the well, not the first area, but the areas of the first game. But only for a little bit. Because that would that would be a pretty lame sequel if it was just that. Oh, there we go, the morphing ball. Oh no. I'm being scanned. Oh yeah, you can do that, but you can also just you can also do this. Oh wait. You can also do that if you just want to show off. <laughs> okay, so there's like a You gotta go this way. Okay, so you can shoot down now. You could probably do that in Zero Mission, but in the... Uh, I don't know if you could do that in the others. <laughs> I Now that I'm saying that out loud, I honestly forgot if that's actually new. Yeah, so we got the Morph Ball, we got some missiles. Got some bugs. Crawling on on the scenery Just to kind of creep you out a little bit Oh, that's right. This is one of those ones where it takes five whole missiles to open the door There's a there's a secret item up there. Oh getting scanned again It's possible to get that pretty early in the game, but you got to be really good at more fall jumping Oh, well, we got some more missiles. Yeah, there's a few secrets in this room. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting scanned. The thing's checking me out. I don't like it. But with our business here done, let's uh, go back up. Stone statues turning to look at me. Another thing I don't like. Really feel like I'm being watched. Being watched in here. And I was! Because the space pirates are here! They, they found out that I was here. We gotta get out of here. Actually, there's no, no real hurry. These guys, they're not very strong. Wall jumping up to be a show off. Burp. Getting hit by the space crab man. All right, so yeah, now there's now there's guys hanging out here. Not too fond of them, but they're here. We're gonna we're gonna hang with them. I guess, you know, make the best of the situation. Oh <laughs> not fond of that guy hanging around. Got some temple. Some temple landscapes. Oh, we got a map downloader. And as previously mentioned, I have downloaded the map. So now we have that. Yeah, you know, you see a strange machine 
on a, on a deserted planet. Just, you know, stick your arm cannon right in there. I'm sure it's not a glory hole. Or maybe it is. And maybe she knows that. Either way, though, whatever transaction has just transpired there, we got a map out of it. So, I'll accept it. So we want to go this way. We want to go this way and get bombarded by, like, small winged bugmen. Just like in real life. Though usually, in real life, it happens in my backyard and not in an, in an abandoned temple of some sort. So... Get this. Get this item. Set. Set some bombs. So let's just leave. Oh. It seems the door has shut. And I cannot open it. Oh. Oh. Oh no, the statue has come to life. It's not supposed to happen. Oh no, I, I've blown his head off. That's also not supposed to happen. Got something in my eye. That's also not supposed to happen. Oh, and I missed the missiles. That is especially not supposed to happen. But we now have morph ball bombs. A balanced part of an arsenal and maybe breakfast. I, I wouldn't recommend eating those, especially if you are a Dodongo who dislikes smoke. But we can go down here. And here's a save room. Which we will use to save. But yeah, I think I may just have to leave uh, filtering on while I'm streaming in 720p. Or at least streaming recording at 720p, I guess. Because... It, it the I used to use 1080p, but then I discovered you know oh can't get 60 FPS like that, and I kind of want the 60 FPS. But like I said, once uh, once I get a capture card that can handle 60 FPS at 1080p, then everything should scale a lot better. So for now, I'm just gonna have some filtering. It'll it'll be fine. It, it will be just fine, do not worry. So, you can press start, and get a map. So we see that there's stuff this way. Yeah, gotta make do with what we have. Once I get some money though, well I mean that's one, that's one potential thing I'm gonna look into. So, run down this way, run down the mushroom tunnel. Very purple. Get our first E-Tank. Yeah, having to uh, pause for that jingle to play out does get slightly annoying. Uh, and most randomizers <laughs> actually take that out. As well as the intro sequence with the space with the space station. Oh, no. <laughs> Trying to get acquainted with the buttons. I may switch, uh... I may switch the item button. Or the two item buttons. Because I keep going to press X to change items. I don't know if there's anything cool in here. At least not that I see. 
All right. So just like in the first Metroid, this is our end game. You notice there are four glowing crystals. Once I have taken out the game's four bosses, then I will be able to proceed. But since I have taken out none of them, I cannot proceed. Also, here's some kind of weird flea sack, if you wanted to just be grossed out a little bit. Luckily, it's not too realistic looking. Whatever these things are, they move like fleas. I honestly don't think I care about killing them. Anyway, we've mostly had ambient music for this whole time, but get ready for the jams. This is where the jams happen. And this is where the adventure truly begins. Uh, uh, nope. Leave me be. 69 health. Yes, Miles, but we must embrace change. You must let Green Brinstar into your life. Yes, so this is the first Metroid game I- well, no, not really. Because <laughs> I did play Zero Mission, but... Chronologically, this is the first Metroid game with a map system. And it makes exploring all of this stuff so much easier. Because now I don't have to remember where I've been, the game will remember it for me. And there's this game's very open-ended, which is going to surprise no one. So forgive me if I'm, I'm not going the exact way that I should go. I've played this game like twice before. Uh, not counting like me messing around with randomizers. So I have a pretty alright grasp on the game, but it's not going to be perfect and I will probably get lost once or twice trying to remember where stuff is. But yes, yeah, so, this Metroid game has improved on several things introduced in its predecessors and is considered one of the best in the series, if not the best, for that very reason. Gone is the tedium of previous games. Oh. Got, we're in the pollen hole. And yes, I, I will probably like miss areas or overlook areas. I'm not going to get 100%, but... I will go back and get some items that I missed. So if you see me like... So like if you see me miss stuff, you know, or ignore stuff for a little bit, don't worry. I can go back to it. Beyond the space station at the beginning, which contains no items, uh, you can go back just about anywhere. Also I raised it a little bit. So alright. So there's a missile tank up there. You're supposed to have an upgrade that lets you interact with that. But you can also just do this. Yeah, so that's that's a missile tank you're not supposed to get till later, but you can you can break the game in a few ways using some of the moves. And frankly, I think that's what a lot of people really like about it, is that not only is the game very open-ended, but you can make it more so if you know the cheeses and are good at them. I am not good at most of them. Uh, but I can, I can wall jump every now and again. 
but you should if you haven't seen a speed run of super metroid before absolutely watch one it's insane <laughs> there are so many ways to like cheese this game also there's a hidden thing down here you can get the charge beam one final thing i must bug you about let me hear it Also, there's something that you can get here later, but as you can see, I don't have whatever this is. The game sound is just slightly ahead of the video. Okay. That should fix it. Let me know. Okay, so that's a green door. I don't have green. And I'll also just preemptively reset it once we get an hour in, just to be safe. I think we should play in a band, just to be safe. So yeah, lots of going back and forth. This is a Metroid game. What do you expect? That's what we, that's what we like about it. You know, in most games going back and forth, is considered a chore, but you know, that's what you want to be doing in this game. In fact, I, I didn't really get into Metroid Prime until it was like, yo, go, go, go back, <laughs> go back and find something in the first area, nerd. And I was like, yes, this is the moment I've been waiting for. God, yeah, ugh, my eye. So, we gotta go this way, I think. Yeah, in some Metroid games, they change it to where the missile doors just take one... Take one missile. But this is not one of those. Okay, don't know what these are. Look like some kind of egg sack. Oh, I gotta defeat all the guys in the room before it'll let me through that door. Very tedious, Mr. Metroid. Alright, second boss. Spore spawn. This affront to God right here. He, he bobs, or it bobs. I don't think you can really ascribe a gender to this thing. So wait till it opens. Wait till it opens up. You sound like you're having a lot of fun just playing this. Yeah, man, I love Super Metroid. Unless that was sarcasm and you mean to say that I'm incredibly deadpan. Which I have been I have been told. <laughs> but yeah, I love Super Metroid. I love Metroid in general, but especially Super. So come on, open up. So it gets faster. Okay, you know, it's getting more reddish as time goes on. Just give it a minute. As you can probably tell, this boss is a speedrunner's worst nightmare. And luckily there is a way to skip it, but I don't know what it is. So we just we just get, we just got to be patient. There we go. All right, Spore Spawn is dead. And the root, oh, that, I love the touch where the room just like kind of dies and goes beige. That's a, that's a, that's a nice touch. This game has a lot of nice little touches, I think. <laughs> okay, so we got that music, so we're going to probably get an upgrade. Going down. Going down. And we now have super missiles. So you see the green doors? That's what the green doors.
All right, just checking around. So now we can progress through green doors. So now we have two icons up there, you can probably see. <laughs> Knock those guys out of the ceiling. Already we're getting another touch. So yes, I, I'd say these game, this game is full of them. Okay, gotta, gotta make sure you understand the super missile. So it's like missiles, but super. They're green. And as we know from Mario, green is the better brother, I mean missile. Color. Okay, so this is a this is a funny room. This is a funny room right here. You know, there's a yellow door up there. Don't have anything for yellow. Yellow is is not my friend right now. You can go up here. Go up here and get some free missiles. Maybe not free missiles, but low effort missiles. Well, you got a wall jump, I guess. If you don't know about the wall jump, no missiles for you, but I do, so I get missiles. Gee, Dustin. How come your mom lets you have two missiles? I thought there was something here. No, guess not. Okay, shoot a little shooty door. It's got a blue on it. That's the symbol for shoot it with your power beam. If you're colorblind, I uh, go to hell, I guess. <laughs> Cactus. All right, so here's a famous part of the game. And I'll explain why in a moment. If you do not know. But first, let's, uh, I'm just gonna kill these guys. No, I thought there might be something down here. All right, so. This area is called the Noob Bridge because if you just if you just walk to the right, you're gonna fall. You're not you're not, you're not gonna make it through the bridge. To, in order to get over this, you have to know that Samus can run. So you're stuck here until you realize that you can run. That is why it's called the Noob Bridge because if you get stuck on it, you are a noob, <laughs> I guess. All right, so. We're out of green Brinstar, and now into red Brinstar. This is the moodier area of the two. Yeah, I'm not supposed to go up there anyway. But I can't help it. It's just it's just fun to to mess around and do things you're not supposed to do. Sometimes I'm just no good at not taking damage. Still a good song though. Just, just a bit moodier. And you're getting down into the nitty gritty when you go down here. I think this is another save point or an ammo refill. No, this is a health refill point. Yeah, recharge energy. Give you, gives you nice full health. You remember, you remember when I had to grind for this in Metroid NES, and that's why I stopped playing the game. No, no, Super Metroid knows that grinding for health can be obnoxious, so it will give you these, it will give you these health refill stations. Also, you can shoot that block and go up here. Got a. The problem with the wall jump, you gotta be doing a somersault in order to do it. So if you ever see me like, you know, start a jump and then be like, oh crap, gotta do a different jump, it's probably why. Okay, got, got over that this time. Should be an item in here. Ooh, Spazer. I forget, I forget which beam Spazer is. It's that one. 
I don't know if it if it does much besides it just is more powerful. But hey, I mean, I'll, I'll take I'll take it. Okay, so something I should show you the little feature this game has. Press R, you can go here. You see all the stuff you have. So if, for instance, a certain beam is kind of getting in your way more than helping you, you can turn it off. So that's a good feature. For some reason, they took that out of Zero Mission. I, I don't know why, because pretty much everybody loves this feature. Everybody's like, this is a good feature. Please give me, give me more of this feature. Okay, so there's this guy who will try to drag you into the spike water. Alright, so this is supposed to be your clue that something's up there. But of course, I, al I just already know that that's up there, so... I don't need to really make a big deal out of it. Okay, so we, we're in the moist cave now. In a tube. Glass tube. You'll find out why this area is so strange later. So you can, uh, super, super missile that. And you'll find a little, like, cave right here. You're not supposed to be able to go over there yet. You, of course, can if you're skilled enough with the wall jump. I, I don't think I am. At least I think you can. But either way, we'll, we'll follow the game's lead this time. We'll follow it this time. Alright, now we're in Norfair. It's not fair how much we're in Norfair. So there's gonna be a lot of places here. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of places here that we can't go to yet for various reasons. I don't know if I can go here yet. No, I can't. Well, you you kind of can. There's a there's a glitch that involves doing like a very precise set of inputs, and it will result in you being able to be in morph ball form, but still have the speed as if you were running. And if you can do that, then uh, you can go to this room early. But but I'm not any good at it, and I honestly don't want to spend like. An hour trying to mock a ball. Well, I got Spazer Beam. That's one thing. Another energy tank. Good to have. Good to have. I will accept this. Can go this way. Oh, there's a missile up there. There's a fire guy right here. I just shot a super missile at that guy. Dang it. I didn't want to do that. Okay. This is another, like, wall jump cheesable area. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the upgrade you need for this really soon. But, I mean, why wait when I can get it now? You know, I think I might be getting it in this room, actually. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> I jump boots. Yeah, so... Surprising literally no one, this one makes you jump higher. That's what it does. So, yeah, you're supposed to... You're supposed to do that. You're supposed to get the item and then do that. You're playing with power pretty early on, huh? Well, I mean, define define playing with power. You mean like cheeses or like the game giving you 300 items? Also, you can go down here. I don't know if there's something here. Ooh, hot room. Yeah, they. I'd say Super Metroid's pretty good about, you know, just constantly keeping you, you know, moving up, moving on up in the world. You know, just the gradual trickle 
of good items. Oh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta like, you gotta like bomb that guy. But either way, I can't go this way yet. Yeah, so, help. Mm, excuse me, a little bit of congestion. So health isn't recharged at the save stations. There's you got to use the separate stations for that. Okay, I went in here. Oh yeah, this is the hot room. Oh, of course, of course. Okay, now now that I have the high jump boots, I can probably go in that door that we saw just a minute ago up there. Yeah, I mean this is North Fair. This is the volcano area. Got to come back when we're more prepped for volcanoes. But yeah, now that I think we have the high jump, we can go this way. Gotta waste a super missile. Yeah, so jump. Yeah, now we, now we can go up here. With minimal effort. <clears throat> now we're in a sort of, uh, sort of base. Some kind of dingy looking metal area. There's a door there. I think that's another one of those kill all the dudes in the room door. I... maybe not. Anything... anything cool? Yeah, you can morph ball jump. But I'm not very good at it. Yeah, uh... It's a good idea to just kind of bomb things that seem suspicious. But we will get... We will get an upgrade that'll help us with that later. Oh, right. I don't think I'm supposed to know about that. <laughs> I think you're supposed to go over here and find, like, the save area. Yeah, you're supposed to... You're supposed to come over here, use the save area, and you're gonna be like, Well, that was a weird dead end. And then you, then you look around and notice the crack in the ground. I don't know. I feel like there's something here. The problem with bomb jumping is that to do it effectively, you gotta have a certain rhythm. Oh, uh, yep, there's a there's a spot there for an upgrade I do not have. But you know, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to come back later for some things. It's just the way it's just the way life's gotta be. Mm, but we got we got tense music. Wonder what that could mean. Oh dear, could it be? Could it be him? I think it is. It's Creed. Look at him. There he is. Creed's gotten wimpier. Gee, Creed. You sure suck more than you used to. Quick refill. You know, for whatever you need. Don't know why they'd put this after Kraid, though. Come to think of it, the menacing music is still playing. Oh, jeez. That guy was getting eight. Yeah, this guy... This guy right here is the source of a lot of urban legends. Oh. Oh. Like, you know, what's that guy doing there? Is there any way to do anything with him? The answer is no, he's just there for flavor. No, no pun intended. I probably need to refill my missiles. I'm pretty sure the guys that are on the door stay gone once you kill them. So it should be, it should be alright. Yeah, they stay gone. What? What? What could this be? 
Oh, no, did real crate. Time for real crate. So you shoot his, you shoot his eyes. Oh, he's going up. He's big. He's a big boy. Absolute unit. So you just want to shoot his eye and then shoot missiles into his mouth. The weak spot of all self-respecting alien creatures. Alright, crates down. <laughs> he didn't put up much more of a fight than small crate. But we got the Varia suit. I think a mistranslation of like barrier suit, which should mean like barrier suit. But you know, again, sometimes it just be like that. Gotta gotta bomb these areas. Just to be safe. Pardon me. Like I said, my nose just kind of gets crazy when I'm streaming. I don't, don't it. Oh, my hair is messy. I meant to brush it. Oh, well. You're getting unkempt, Dustin, this time. Unkept. Unkem. But yeah, now we're orange. We're more orange than we used to be. So, I think with this, we should be able to survive the hot rooms in Norfair. Oh, so here's a little thing the speedrunners do. Because, like, each time you pump Samus's arm like this, she moves one pixel forward. So speedrunners are just constantly hitting Eleanor. It's kind of hilarious. Again, if you if you've never watched a speed run of Super Metroid, first of all, how? And second of all, go go do it after this. It really is a wild and crazy experience. Okay, so now we can go in there. And there's these guys. These guys that suck. But there's another energy tank in here that I <laughs> took too long to get so it went back in its little hidey hole it's like I'm, I'm, I'm going back in I'm going back in nobody's gonna collect me I'm just I'm not hanging around Okay, so we can leave there and go back to Norfair, I do believe. <laughs> but not before making me waste another super missile. Back in Lava Town. So let's see, are we good? Are we good now? That we are. We are good. Convection? No thanks. I am a Muslim. Got slopes too. Is it not a miracle? Slopes? Now we can be Samus at 90 degree angles, and more. Okay, but there's some rising lava here, so we don't want to hang around too long. Don't want to hang around too long. Oh, oh draining my health. Okay, well, what lava's done rising. Oh, okay. These guys suck. Oh, still, still suck. Actually, they blow lava, but <laughs> nonetheless. 
So we can hang out in here now, in the big old hanging out lava room. With a very lavish background. Alright, saving again. Can probably go up there. Oh wait, no, I'm bad. I forgot. Well, I did do a wall jump off of that, but it unfortunately got me literally nowhere. Oh, go down here. What secrets can be hidden? A missile tank. I will take it. Yeah, after after the first missile tank, you 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 think they would stop playing the song, but no, it keeps on playing. I think when you're playing on a randomizer, it doesn't even bother to tell you what you got. It's just like, you know what this is. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Oh, nope, gotta go in the pipe. Right, of course. Right, the pipe for Cusco. Yeah, I mean, you definitely want to have as many missiles as humanely possible, or even as unhumanely possible. Just n never, never too many. They just have a really drawn out animation. That's all. That's, that's all. Oh yeah, this is the other side of that room I was on before. Can't, can't get that yet. Can't go there. Alright, so there's uh, this thing. Can't shoot through the door. At least not right now. Don't know what this guy's about, honestly. He's about being dead now. I mean, I think sometimes those guys hide things. I, I don't think that's what's being done here, though. Can get some uh, some cool items. I mean, even when you do need to farm in this game, it's just so much quicker. It's just like shoot the guys that turn into like twelve other guys, and, and you'll be full on health in no time. All right, what's this way? Oh right, it's the uh, it's the farming hole. Need if you need to farm these guys, get some super missiles. There you go. The farming hole. Okay, anything anything cool hidden? Not that I can see. Oh, this guy. This guy is a trip. I kind of like him though. He's He's cool. He's just he's just a long lad. Elongating for us. Okay. Volcano Town. That guy. We don't need we don't need to pay any attention to him. Can just go up. All right, you can stand on this guy. Oh, okay, it just kind of goes in and out, in and out. Oh, this guy's sinking. Gotta love those naturally occurring, you know, butt jets. Oh, this guy, that's a wacky guy. He's a seahorse man. Everybody loves the seahorse man. That may not be factual. I have not performed a study. Got 
<laughs> gotta run a poll. What percentage of you like the seahorse man? Also, there's a door up there. I, I, I don't know if you saw it. But you can you can go up there if you go in a different door. Or if you wall jump, but you can just go in a different door, so. Oh yes, my favorite, my favorite wildlife, uh, screaming head. I do my find yourself! <clears throat> oh, fell down. Gotta... Gotta get back up. Actually, I, I, I see now why people will wall jump this. So you can get that. That's pretty red. And jump! Again, this is a spot where you're supposed to have the, the power up to use those things, but you can also just do that, what I just did. get the wave beam <laughs> I don't know how much sequence I've just broken by doing that but yeah this is a beam that can go through walls those spikes disappear when stepped on I'm telling you there's so many sequence breaks in this game sometimes you do some without even meaning to but I think wave beam is mostly optional. I don't think it helps too much for progress. I could be wrong. But either way, I will take it. You can do this. Lay a whole bunch of uh, power bombs. Like an egg. Okay, we're back in here now. This is where this lets out. But now we can go here. Get shot at by little pricklies. Uh, go up here. Find this area completely naturally. Did not, you know, definitely did not know about this before. Definitely have not played this game. another another new bridge but I, I don't think I can actually go this way yet oh no wait no 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 I'm mistaken I can go this way and it is in fact what I am meant to do the speed booster so if you thought Samus could run fast before look at her now And it doubles in a, as an attack when you're able to get that off. But the speed booster, as one may expect, is probably the, one of the most useful items for speedruns. And not even for the reason you might suspect. Why doesn't she have that in Smash? Well, she sort of has a reference to that in Smash. Like her dash attack reference references one of the poses she does. But yeah, <clears throat> okay, so something you're supposed to find out about, like the wall jump, something you're supposed to find out about later, but you already have access to, is that if you speed boost to the point where you get, you know, the flashing effect, and then you duck down, you can do what's called a shine spark, where you either dash all the way to the right or the top, or or left, yeah, horizontally or up, is what I'm trying to say. There's a path down there, I don't know if I can go there yet. Let me restart the capture card just to preemptively fix any sync issues, I don't know. 
But yeah. So, essentially, it'll drain your health a bit. But you can use that in order to get to some pretty wacky places. And again, places you're maybe not supposed to be. <laughs> I, I don't know how much I'll be able to use it to sequence break. But I should be able to grab at least an item early with it. Like a missile tank. Early missiles. You can go this way. Oh yeah, that's one thing that I'm not supposed to be able to do right now. Is go backwards through this, but you gotta have that upgrade anyway, so... Yeah, if you have the wave beam, you can enter those doors backwards. A very interesting proposition. Okay, so yeah, I don't have I don't have the upgrade I need for that yet. So I have to go where I can use this. I haven't gone to the left there. So I imagine this game will probably take me about two or three streams to beat. Like not too long, but not the shortest thing in the world. Like not Mega Man X levels of, of short. Though granted, Mega Man X, I thought that was going to be two streams and I just, I just did them in one. Because the Sigma stages and the item cleanup were a lot faster than I thought they were. Alright, so, yeah, wait. Wait, this is, uh, this, this is the wrong room. No, this is the right room. Wait a minute, was this... Because, I mean, now that I have the wave beam, I could go down this way. I mean, I'm not supposed to yet, but I could do it. Could do it. Am doing it. <laughs> oh yeah, but now that room where I couldn't get through the doors fast enough, I could probably go there now. Oh, that's what that was up there, wasn't it? I, I'm I'm serious. You can get lost. You can get lost in this game, dude. There's just so many different ways to go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh. Oh, lo oh lobber, lobber. <laughs> I think there's a way to get up there without having the, the thing you need. I mean, honestly, I don't know why I'm still saying this. Like, generally just assume that there's a way to, to get things that you're not supposed to be able to get. It's, it's it's a pretty common occurrence in this game. Okay, so I'm not really well equipped to go that way. So I'll head on back. Nope, do not want any lava cactus. That's good. I got lava cactus at home. Oh, uh, this is Crocomire. You shoot him, you shoot him with missiles and then he walks backwards. I hope I do not run out of missiles for this fight. Oh. It's a very real possibility that I will run out of missiles. 
Uh, but but then again, Krokomeyer does supply his own. Oh, yep, I am out. Okay, Krokomeyer. Ooh, a soup. Dang it! Ah, oh, crap. I goofed it. Got it. <laughs> oh, so yeah, you get to watch, uh, you get to watch Krokemeyer's flesh burn off in a Nintendo game. <laughs> but there's the menacing music still playing. Oh, he ain't done yet. He ain't done yet. He ain't done yet. Oh, never mind. He's done. <laughs> you know that part where I said he's not done? I lied. <laughs> yeah, Metroid, little spoopy, little spoopy. I mean, it is based off of Ridley Scott's Alien, after all. <laughs> okay, go on up here. Oh. Power bomb. Again, no idea if I'm actually supposed to have this yet. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to to break so many sequences. I'm sorry. It's 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 fine though. It'll it'll be okay. It's not gonna affect the story or anything. You must immediately stream it all over again, but without breaking sequences. I don't even know if I can. I, I feel like I've almost forgotten what the sequence is. <laughs> oh, gotta use a super for this one. Okay, just hop through here. But of course, like I said, it'll be fine. It's not like it ruins the story or anything, even if I do. Because basically, you're just kind of dropped in here and you're like, okay, find the four bosses, kill them, return to that statue room, and, you know, summon the ending. Summon forth the end of the game. So, so as long as as long as you do all that, which of course you have to, I think for the for the most part. Okay, got to use my newfound power bomb to create a path with which to run. So yeah, if you do this, you can do this. And that comes very much in handy for speedruns. But you can also just do uh, this. But there's stuff over here, so I kind of want to see what that is. Oh, la, la le, le, lever. The burning, the burning hells. They're gonna open on Nintendo Switch. 
Yeah, you gotta you gotta duck like right afterwards. And it might not work on a slope. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure how life works. Yeah, that didn't that didn't work out how I thought it would. Yeah, the one thing with the uh, shine spark is you gotta have a lot of room to like build up the power you need. Oh yeah, there you go. Like that. <laughs> Except I I didn't aim right. Oh, I want to get up there. There we go. And then you just fall back down. And now we have the grapple beam. That's, you know, when I kept saying we needed something to interact with those blocks, this is, this is that. <laughs> it's a little silly looking, but you know, it gets the job done. But there's one more little thing up there that we're going to get. Spoiler alert. What are you supposed to do here? Like, what are, what are you meant to do? I guess you're supposed to high jump and then grapple onto those. Oh. This is the water hole. Uh, uh. Okay, grapple. Nyeh, nyeh. 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 Is there anything? Wait, is there anything down here? The might be, could be, probably isn't. Could be though. But yeah, as you can tell, Samus's mobility is is god awful in the water. Okay. So program something like it. Are we talking about the grapple beam? Or like the shine spark? What are we what are we talking about? What are we programming? I'm a programmer, I program stuff sometimes. Grapple beam. Yeah, grap grappling in video games is pretty cool. I don't know why I don't know why grappling isn't more of a, a staple in video games. Okay, but now I think we're done in here. Yeah, we can go back. We can go back up. There's a little corner missing down there. It's all right. Now, this is like one of those Metroid games where like, you know, most Metroid games, you get like a better, <laughs> I could have done that without the grapple beam, to be honest, where you get a better ending depending on how fast you beat it. Probably not going to get a great one. That's all right. It's fine. I, I don't need to see Samus on this swimsuit cover. It's, it's all right. I'm good. So, yeah, okay. So just head on back up. 
All right, wait, this was, was this a dead end? No, no, I had, I needed the grapple beam for this, right? And I, I have it now. Hmm, pardon me. I burped. Again, no idea if it picked up. Could have. Might not have. Oh yeah, yeah, need the grapple beam for this. Got the grapple beam. Now going to make use of it. Well, don't worry, if I, if I really needed to pick up a burp, I'd just lean into the microphone. But no, I think I think we're good on that one. Cool di didn't hit the target. Tried to hit the target, didn't. So I just pop in here to give a quick save. I'm one of those kinds of people that save entirely more often than I probably need to, but... But hey, I, I like to play it safe. Can go, can go this way again. No idea if I'm actually supposed to have power bombs yet. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. There's a boss down there. But I should be able to get through this room now that I have the speed booster. Okay, so you can you can go down with the power bomb. You can also go up with the power bomb. What's what's down? What's what's in the down direction? I think I don't I, I think I don't wanna go down yet. I think I wanna stay up. Yeah, power bombs, they, they're crazy, man. They're, they're crazy. Very powerful. Go in here. Get the ice beam. Doing, doing good on the whole beam side of things. Yeah, so now I can freeze, freeze these men. And use them for my own purposes. I don't think his fireball was supposed to freeze with him, but okay. Alright, so yeah, yeah, so you 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 wanna freeze freeze these guys going here. Freeze that guy, use him as a platform, go this way. Fall down, crumble through the floor, do a little bit of crumbling. Oop. Freeze the ice beam is very useful. Very useful to have. Fall down. Fall down and make these guys fall with me. Get them all in a row. Oh, yep. Yep. Running into space pirates at mock speed. Eat my eat my shorts. Like, like Cowabunga, dude. Now, let's see. I think we're pretty good with this area right now. Yeah, this is the part where it becomes a little open-ended more. <laughs> I say it becomes a little open-ended, like... 
like we haven't been running in like eight different directions this whole time. Oh, dang it. Forgot. Forgot about that. Yep. Dawn of the shoulder buttons, baby. I wish these stayed open. Because <laughs> I don't like having to use a super missile every time I go through those. So let's let's head back to Brinstar. There's probably some new stuff to do in Brinstar. Hang out in Brinstar with the the boys. I was trying to make some kind of pun like boy boy star, but it, it didn't quite work out. The pun the pun did not succeed it did not work see Samus flashes a lot and that's why I'm uh, running at 60 frames not like you know in a sexual way yeah so the secret of like the moist cave is revealed if you look at the uh, the map this is technically Meridia now, here's what you're supposed to do, and this took me forever to figure out. This is like the one place I got stuck. Use a power bomb. Or, yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, but Samus's water mobility is god awful. So I'm not gonna go to Meridia. I might not even be able to progress very far in Meridia until she moves better in water. Actually, I, I, thinking about it, I don't know if I broke the sequence as much as I thought I did. Like, I mean, the power bombs probably, but I, I may not have, have broken it that wide open. To be, to be frank with you. Oh, yep, I screwed that up. I mean, a little bit, a little, a little bit. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a lot. Sometimes a little bit is just fine. We can go this way now. We can blow that guy up. Get that, please. Yes, I will. I will get, get. Let me up. Let me in. All right. So this is kind of a trick room. These guys are your light source. Don't don't blow them up. <laughs> Do not kill. George, George, George of the jungle. Okay, just let that little thing rise up so I can get in here. The X-ray scope. So, this is what I was talking about. It reveals breakable blocks and secret passageways. So very useful for not having to bomb everything. <laughs> just scan. So you just hold A and you can scan the area for fun times. What's down here? Oh, pain. You know, that's how, I had a feeling that's what was down here. Is there anything else? Nope, just pain. Pain down here? Yep, lots of pain. Not right here, though. I need to scan this, though. This looks secrety. It wasn't. But it looked like it. You gotta give me that at least. Uh, uh. Uh. 
Yeah, so just want to have this equipped a lot <laughs> to just kind of scan areas. But like I said, probably not going to get 100. <laughs> I have never once gotten 100% in this game, and I'm probably not starting now. Alright, so yeah, now that I have the ice beam, can go up here. Can uh, advance through the... <laughs> can advance through here. Also, you get to see these guys' weirdness. I think these things are literally called Samus Eaters. <laughs> Bet you can't guess what they do. I, I think, I could be wrong. <laughs> that might be, that might be me making stuff up. I'm gonna save. Gonna go up and save. I swear I thought I just heard a Discord noise in this song. Okay, what's going on in here? Oh, the big, the big guys. That's what's going on for one thing. Okay, one of these guys hides a secret. I know that much. I think it's this one because it's the only one without yeah because it's the only one without a guy in it. I need out. Let me out. Her, her, low on health, gonna die. I mean, it, it's kind of funny when you think about like, outside of a meta sense, who named these, who named these creatures? Did they even know who Samus was? All right, so here's a room. Oh. Oh, so I don't have to sequence break at this point. But you can technically get this missile tank early with a well-timed shine spark. Also, you can uh, <laughs> hang too long on those ones. Oh, uh, my, my, my itchness. So I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. I should actually, I should probably go back to my ship and refuel, refuel my health. But first, I'm gonna get a missile tank. Which makes the water effect disappear because it, it can't have it can't have those two on the same layer, I guess. I'm very extremely low on health. Is there anything in here? Nope. 
Dang, I was hoping to show you getting that uh, missile tank using the shine spark, but but I have no need. I have no need now. All right, yeah, fill fill it up, fill up the tanks. ship's kind of sticky. Hard to get out of it. Also, there's a secret up here, by the way. <laughs> of course, the secret is a room filled with lava. But it is a secret. Oh. But I can get this. Oh, dropping a couple of little frames. Not too many. Get me out of here. Yep, get some Twitch really has improved their delay a lot over the years. And I will I will give them credit for that. God, my nose, dude. Oh. Oh, dang it. Dang it. I wanted to get that other missile tank. <laughs> But the floor comes back. <laughs> so I gotta go back around. <laughs> gotta go back around. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. Crud. Oh, frames. We're, we're, we're losing them. I don't know why things have suddenly started crapping out. Also, this is a good room to go really fast in. I want that other missile tank, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and get it. Oh no, I'm, I'm at six, six, six drop frames. The Satan, he has arrived. Luckily, this also refills your your bombs. Because there's, there's a boss coming up I'm going to need missiles and a half for. But let's just go up to space right quick. that actually took out the blocks. Eh, yeah, it did. No! No! Cut it out! Oh, 
Okay. I'm going we're going back. We're going back for the other ones. Yeah. The network is getting funky. Maybe by the time maybe by the time though that I get uh get the other missiles, it may have uh smoothed out a bit. Probably not, but a boy can dream, can't he? At least it doesn't seem like abysmally bad or anything. It's still 0.3%. Here, here. Nope, 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 nope. Hot potato, hot potato. Hot, 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 hot. Hot. Okay, jump. Okay. There we go. Other missile tank now achieved. Oh, so it's only like... It's only like basically 30 FPSing. <laughs> oh well then yeah, that's not too bad. I can I can live with the occasional 30 FPS. <laughs> if that's what's gotta happen. Making sure my computer wasn't getting warm and no, no, it's cool. It's nice and cool like a winter's day. Uh, okay, go in the ship. All right, fill me back up. There we go. All right, now let's go to that other area to the right here. Well, hang on. I gotta build up speed. Oh, actually, there's something up here, I think. Oh, that was that was a cool maneuver I just did. It wasn't that cool. It was it was moderately cool. Oh yes, there is something up there, but I I'm not I don't have the patience to try to get to it right now. <laughs> You're probably supposed to have a different thing. Okay, so basically what you wanna do though if you're trying to shine spark it is you want to open that door just ahead of time and you want to like I think <laughs> yeah it's it's difficult because you gotta like you gotta like get it up to the door and you ca can't overshoot the door because that happens. But you want to have the door already open, because Shine Sparking does not open the door. I think what you want to do in order to prevent Shine Sparking too early is you want to... No, no, that's not it. Hmm, how, did, how did I do this? Because there's like a way, I thought, to jump without, without doing the thing. Oh, I mean, there's morph balls, I guess, but that would be entirely too slow. I'm not going to try to do this for long, but I would like to show it off. Oh, you can do it diagonally. I didn't know that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember how to uh, how to jump and not do the shine spark. There is a way because I remember doing it. Er 
Oh, it was this. You you just got to be moving when you do it. It's it's simpler than it than it seemed. So you just like you get the shine spark. You got to do it at like the last second <laughs> and not overshoot it like I or undershoot it like I keep doing. You you do the jump and then you up. Oh, well, you got to do it quick. <laughs> Well, I messed it up. I'll try like maybe one or two more times. Yeah, my network's getting stanky. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh, dang it. Uh, well, basically, basically that. I, I almost had it. But yeah, then you can shine spark right across this water chasm. You'll hit the missile. And if you do a much harder shine spark, you can get into this area over here without having the grapple beam, but it's it's harder. It is hard. But yeah, so this area is a problem without the grapple beam, but I have the grapple beam, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> can also grapple to this fellow. Which he, he doesn't seem too happy about, but that's alright, because I don't care. You see the SNES line? Because I don't see it. Oh well, I see a very faint line on the white. But anyway, this is the wrecked ship. It's haunted. Haunted by ghosts. So we gotta, we gotta go down. We gotta we gotta find the source of the ghosts. Every ghost has a nucleus. Like Zoinks, Fred! I don't know why you had to take us to Planet Zephyrus! Like, man, there's space pirates everywhere! The machine doesn't work because there's no power. Oh, this guy. You miss him. Okay, welcome to the zone. Oh, yep, here's the ghost nucleus. Fantoon! Problem is you want to have your super missile out to shoot him with. Oh, yeah, that, right, this part. This part, this, this attack sucks. And also, he does it for like 30 years! God, Fantoon, get a hobby. The problem is, I, I want to shoot these guys, but I don't want to waste my super on it. Oh, okay. You have to remember which is, is which. Mm. Yeah, you want to stay, like, right next to... Uh, maybe not. Yeah, that attack sucks.
but luckily the super missiles do like 100 million freaking damage so oh it's easier to dodge on this side for me oh burr. phantom drains it drains my energy like a that's why I'm telling you, man. Fantoon is a pain. Uh, see, that's what I mean. I don't want to, like... But I'm more willing to waste regular missiles on these guys than... Than soups. Oh, but I got another soup. Oh god. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him. Yeah, Fantoon is always the boss I dread when I play this game. Because as you can tell, he drains your health like crazy, but we at least get a cool like sine wave thing going on. Alright, yeah, you better give me some health. <laughs> you better give me some of that health. All right, so now that we've killed Fantoon, the power's back on. And we now have Gonk Droid. Look at him, he's so gonky. Ow. Now we can get an actual map of the wreck wrecked ship. Dang old protons and neutrons getting big and shooting at me. But I, I really like this area in terms of ambience, though. It gives you... It's it's giving you that feeling that Metroid's so good at of, like... Dear God, what happened here? What happened here? Balls of steel. <laughs> no, that's not the... Well, I mean, maybe that's the feeling Metroid gives you. I don't know. Better save. Because I don't want to fight Fantoon again. Yeah, we're still we're still getting some stanky frames. Yeah, there, there's something we can do up there, but I, I kind of want to go this way first. Oh, but can I even? Oh, yeah, I, I probably can. They're probably trying to keep you from being able to do that. But it's, uh, it's a very ineffective barricade. You know what? No, I will go back. I, I'll do it. I'll play your game. I mean, I'm already playing your game. In a way. Probably gonna stop for too long because I'm getting kind of... One, because the frames are, are tanking a little bit. And also because I'm getting kind of hung. But yeah, you can go up here. You can go up here and have a good time. And then you can find these guys. I don't have a good time when these guys are around. But you gotta kill them. This is one of those gotta kill them rooms. Oh, I see. I have freed. I have freed the neutrons. The By restoring the power, I have broken the glass and freed the neutrons. Oh, 
Okay, there. No, get out of here, gonk. No, no gonk droids allowed. This is a girls only party. There are two genders, girl and gonk. Oh, yeah, gotta kill all the guys again. So many neutrons. What kind of power source are these guys working with? I, I got no idea. <laughs> Can just immediately go down here. Cause there's, there's that. I don't know if I can get it from this direction though. Dang it. No, this is, this is just a preview of things to come. Oh, more of those guys if you if you know if you missed them. Probably stuff up there. Would like to to get stuff. I'm the kind of guy where you know I like a good stuff. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a missile. Her. Her. No. I could probably grapple onto these guys, but I don't know if that's where you're. Oh, there's, a, there's another guy. Also, if you hold both L and R, she points straight up. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a... It's got an asymmetric sprite. One day we'll get there. You really get to see the, the Super Nintendo RGB grit in this area. No, no, no! <laughs> I guess you got a morph ball into that. No! <laughs> you 
know, maybe I'll just come back for that one. When there's such a good one over here. Such a good, uh, easy missile tank. Nope, I don't want to go. No, say it ain't so. I will not go. Carry me home. Well, this is just all kinds of. This is just all kinds of failure. Balancing act. Get in the hole. Yes, sir, they really made that many frames. But the only problem is it means I gotta go back through the kill room. Kill all the neutrons. The, the electricity dropping from those hurts you. A cool touch, but also vaguely annoying. Okay, let's try to let's try to get the missile tank up there one more time. One more time. This time with feeling. Take me my steed. Yeah, you really get the, you get the crust, the grit. It's not quite emulator quality, but it's pretty good. Actually, there may be something I can get later that'll make getting that easier, so it might be better that I wait. Yeah, uh, can I get some, can I get some health from you guys? That would be lovely. Oh yeah, it won't, it won't spawn another guy until you take the first guy's item. Okay. This is a weird area. Because I think this is the only place in the game where there's a room inside a room on the minimap. Perfectly encapsulated. Oh, you're supposed to use the grapple beam. I didn't do that. <laughs> Either way, here there's a statue, but you notice it has no item. So I must become the item.
and he has delivered me to the gravity suit which basically makes it to where no matter what Samus has the normal speed and weight of the normal conditions so like for instance game drops you right into water here to demonstrate yeah Samus can be fast underwater now So, I'm gonna go save. And I think that'll be it for me for right now, but after an interlude from Luigi next time, we'll be back to this. So thanks for showing up.